Hello! Well, well, well! What do we have here? I was notified that there's a new patch. Let's see what's up with that. There's no update uh, notification or post on Steam. So, thought, so I thought maybe people are just messing around, but there's actual actually a patch. So we're going to check it out. What's the patch about? 7.33c. All right, let's begin, boys. Uh, it's not that big. It's actually quite small, but we'll see, though. We shall see. All right, guys. Hope you're ready. Patch 7.33c. Picking up a wisdom rune now also grants experience to the lowest level hero on the team. If the lowest level hero picks up the rune, experience goes to the second lowest level hero. Observer Ward, this is pretty technical and pretty good actually. Uh, I've seen this being suggested on the Reddit, so it, it was actually implemented. Observer Ward experience bounty increase from 50 plus 6 per minute to 70 plus 8 per minute. Pretty good, pretty good. When a stack camp is killed, the player that did the stacking receives 30% of the experience gain. That is very helpful. So usually, who's stacking? The support is so they will get 30 percent of the experience very nice same percentage as gold bounty oh i see interesting tormentor reflect now always affects attacking hero regardless of distance oh no rest in peace uh enchantress solo doing it cleared multiple tree paths that led to dead ends and deceptive looking terrain oh wow that's pretty important there, there was a lot of deaths that i that I faced because I just went to a part of the terrain that felt like there's a path there, but there was nothing and I got stuck many times. So this is actually a big change because there's going to be a lot of tree paths and dead ends. So a change to that is very welcome actually. Hero's bonus attribute point can now be skilled starting at level six. Bonus attribute points can now be skilled starting at level six. So usually you could do it starting level 1, but now it starts from level 6. Universal Heroes damage per attribute increased. That's good, that's good. Making Universal Heroes more better. A little bit. Alright, general changes, boys. A lot of items. Let's go. Life steal from creeps on both purchasable and neutral item increased. Yeah, that was important. That's good. 10% more. Recipe cost increased. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of increase, actually. That would be small, like 50 gold more. Uh, damage bonus increased from 2 to 4 to 3 to 6. Yeah, that's fair. Because people are not buying bracer enough. It's a little bit more better now. Crimson Guard recipe cost increased. It should be 1100 minimum. It's good enough, I guess. Uh, guard now costs 75 mana to activate. So if you remove mana, they cannot use the guard. Yes. It's not that good enough though. Not a good enough nerf, I think. Should be 11 or 1200, but we'll see though. Eternal Shroud. Strength bonus increased from 12 to 14. Because people were not buying it since the change. Or not buying enough it, at least. Uh, Shroud now also converts physical damage from spells to mana. Okay. Physical damage from spells. Uh, it could be what comes to mind is Swashbuckle of Pangolier or the third ability of uh, the Grandma. What's the what's her name? Uh, Snapfire. All right, Fairy Fire cost decrease from seventy to sixty-five. Uh, Pavis now also blocks, uh, physical damage from spells. Yeah, the same as that other one. Pipe of Inside Health Region bonus decrease. Please nerf this shit. Magic resistance bonus decrease and barrier mana cost increased. Man, this is so bad. The barrier should have decreased as well. The damage block on that. Ring of Health, Ring of uh, Health, Health Region bonus decreased. True Side Radius decreased for the Sentry Ward. Increase, sorry. Yeah, that's good. So, range people can also get the benefit dealing with evasive heroes like uh, Ricky, Maru, and uh, Bounty Hunter. Vanguard Health Region bonus decreased. Damage block melee hero decreased. Yeah, that's fair. That was too good. 56 is like you can hurt them for like 
12, 14, or 16 damage at least, uh, depending on what's your damage uh, at the point where the off lane gets the vanguard. Damage uh, block from the range heroes also decrease. Okay. Or for the range heroes. Neutral item changes, dualist gloves, boldness attack speed increase. That is good. Because people are not getting this. People were still getting the old ones, the old items, usually, old neutral items. Boldness enemy hero search range also increase. Oh, that's very good. So you can actually get a good benefit if you're, for example, playing sniper like me and using dualist gloves. That's fine. Seeds of Serenity now provides plus 3 health region bonus. Oh, that's good. That's good. This was such a dead item since the last patch as well. Uh, but 3 plus region is pretty okay. Spark of Courage. Courage damage increased from 10 to 18. 18? Armor increased from 5 to 7? So, this works that if you're... If you have like more than 50% HP, you will have damage, right? And if you have less than 50%, you would have armor. So the amounts were 10 damage if you have 50% or more HP. And if below that, you would have 5 armor. But now it's 18 and 7. That is excellent item. That is so good item. Trusty Shovel. The dig cooldown decrease. 50 to 40 seconds. That's good. And now it's the full duration of the... Of the time that the... That the uh, neutral creep that spawns that goblin that gives you gold per minute. That's the full duration of that. It lasts 40 seconds, right? So now every 40 seconds you can dig the trusty shovel. Uh, dragon scale, after burn damage increase. Yeah, this was pretty dead item. 22 is much better. Uh, wouldn't say significant enough. It should be 25. Then, you know, it's just a go-get item. Eye of the Visor uh, or Vizier. Ma mana region bonus increased. Yeah, that's a good amount of mana region, actually. It's it's actually it's actually very good. It's actually uh, almost the same as Falcon Blade, or exactly the same. So even though you have less mana, but you're regening it much faster. It's good enough. It's, it's a free Aether Lens. It's good enough. Kosamer Cape. Cooldown decreased. Yeah, that's fine. Could be 3.52 as well, but I think that would be a little too OP. 4 second is fine. Pretty decent now. Specialist Array, Crackshot now deals 20 bonus damage. Now pr prioritizes heroes as secondary targets. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. Very nice. Vambrace, primary attribute bonus decreased. Other attribute bonus decreased. Uh, yeah, it was the most used item, neutral item, that people get. Vampire Fang, spell life is still increased. 6 to 10%. It's actually legit now. Armor bonus also increased for the Defiant Shell from 5 to 7. Enchanted Quiver, attack rank bonus increased from 50 to 75. Oh, that is good, man. These are good changes. I really like it. Vindicator's Axe, attack speed bonus increased from 30 to 35. Usually, it's best on Axe. Oh, sorry. Sniper. You click Mask of Madness, so not only you get 35 attack speed, which is just inherently what it provides, but the passive as well. Uh, because you will get 30 more damage and 35 attack speed because it already provides you that. And if you get stunned, you get 20 armor, two platinum worth of armor. That's good stuff, man, right there. Uh, it was pretty weak item. I hope they buffed it. Aesthetic scap, health region bonus increase from 15 to 20, endurance duration increased. Yeah, that's legit. 20 HP region. That's no joke. That's pretty good. Again, it's tier 4 neutral item, not a 3 though. You need to remember that. Havoc ha Hammer. It needs to buff also. Havoc, ha ha Havoc Damage Strength Multiplier increase from 1 to 1 to 5. 1. 1.5. That's good. Martyrs Played. I think Magic Resistance should increase. Magic Resistance Bonus increase from 20 to 25. Nice. Uh, spell Prism All Attribute Bonus decrease from 8 to 6. Uh, that was not required to do, but whatever. Stormcrafter, movement speed bonus increase from 30 to 35. Okay, good enough. All right, boys. Now it's time for the hero changes. Hope you guys are ready. Abaddon, base semi decrease by 7. Okay. Alchemist, uh, he needed some nerfs. Movement speed decreased. Cooldown increased. Reveal greed bonus gold decreased. So he's going to farm a little bit slower now. Bonus movement speed 
decrease. So less movement speed base, just by five actually. Uh, but the bonus movement speed you get from chemical rage also study reduce in the early phases at least. Uh, at level three, it's it's the same though. Talent damage per grievel greed stack decreased. Damage per Grievel's Greed stack. I didn't know it provided you damage. Plus two damage per Grievel's Greed stack. I thought it was plus two gold uh, all this time since the recent change. That was my bad. Okay, interesting. Intelligent gain decreased. Now a little bit dumber. Base damage decreased for the Bane. Batrider base damage decreased. I, I would say that these are irrelevant, but they're actually relevant because Batrider and Bane are going to hit you or your ally if they're playing as supports, I guess, or mid, I guess. So the reduction on the damage is uh, pretty okay, actually. Beast Master, base damage decrease, very nice. His ulti is the same though, because he was very useless for most of the time. Only he was good with the, with the um, aura and push meta, but the drums allowed him to farm... Uh, the new ability that he's given with the Agnums allowed him to fight more than only push. So that was a very good change. So I'm glad they didn't touch it, even though I don't play Beastmaster and I've actually lost to Beastmaster Smurf. Uh, that was pretty annoying, but yeah. I'm glad they didn't mess it up though, because it was it's a cool ability. I like how the drums sound also. They go up and down in the frequency, even though they sound the same. I wish the sound also a little bit altered, but it's all right, I guess. It sounds like heartbeat. It's pretty cool. Bounty Hunter, base health region decrease. Very good. Gold down increase. Okay. That's not good enough nerf, but whatever. Base damage decreased by five. This was not needed, but okay. Brood Mother, uh, base damage decrease. Base strength increase for Chaos Knight. Minimum damage increase. Chaos Strike life speed from creeps increased. Chaos Strike life steal increased. Yeah, it's pretty good now. Uh, Sanjan Yasha is pretty good, or. Heaven's Albert because Sanj increases your lifesteal further, so uh, it would, you know, complement the already increased lifesteal. It's pretty good. Chen base damage decrease, clockwork base damage decrease, agility gain increased, intelligence gain increased. Smarter and faster. Crystal Maiden damage decreased for the Crystal Nova. Dark Seer base damage decreased by six. Dark Willow base damage decreased by four. A lot of base damage decrease. Uh, Decreasing of base damages, I guess. Uh, Dawnbreaker healing from creeps increased. Okay, that is fine. Dazzle base damage decreased by 7. Yeah, Dazzle was pretty annoying since the last patch. Still is, kind of. But that's good. 7 less damage per attack. It all adds up. Like If Dazzle does 5 attacks before the reduction of 7 damage, it would deal more damage, right? So, 35 more damage. So... 35 less damage per 5 attacks. It all adds up. So mathematics. Death Prophet, Crip Swarm, damage increased. Okay. Silence radius uh, increased. That's good. That was very small. Exorcism, duration increased. Okay, that's fine. Doom, Devour, bonus gold decrease. Infernal Blade, Agnim Shard, bonus decrease. Okay. Not, not too bad. Early game, it is bad because 20 more gold used to be the norm, but now it's 20 less gold. So yeah, Dragonite, it's such a useless hero right now. I hope they buff him, but it seems like pretty small. Base movement speed increased. Attack time improved. That's pretty good, point one. Especially with if you're, if you're going for Manta build, your illusions will attack faster. That's pretty good. Earthshaker, Fisher range increased. Oh wow, that's pretty good, pretty good. You can catch most range heroes running as well. Cast point also improved for the Enchant Totem. That's pretty good. Aftershock, stud duration increased. Pretty legit. Echo Slam damage increased. Not significant enough. Radius increase. Oh, that's good. And cooldown decrease. Fine. Enigma Midnight Pulse. Cooldown decrease from 50 to 35 seconds. To 40 to 25 seconds. Now you can defend uh, high ground better with this. Gyrocopter base movement speed increase a little bit more. Okay. Uh, they really nerfed Hoodwink. I hope they buff, buff her a little. Slow duration increased. That's good. Almost uh, one second. That's pretty good. Uh, mana cost also decreased and damage increase. 
just a little bit increase in the early phases of the game but that's good because that's where he shines oh i saw invoker hold on hold on what's her base strength increase from 20 to 23 i guess 300 branches inherent inherently gifted to whisker all right boys you know one of the reasons why i've not been playing invoker or playing dota at all for the last few days is because it's gotten so boring for me the heroes that i'm playing i'm losing with i'm not enjoying like sniper or other heroes that are not completely in meta and uh especially invoker i love invoker and losing with invoker is really demoralizing uh because it is a high effort and high accuracy and high maintenance high farm hero and high skill as well so when you do try to do your best or even like, even the bare minimum you put on Invoker is much higher than you would put on any other hero. Period. And the result you get from putting in that effort is is that you lose the game. Then you don't have enough impact anymore, especially after this patch. Like, it used to be the case before as well, and I was hoping some major buffs in this patch, or at least minor buffs. But instead, they nerf and destroy the hero. So I hope they change it properly. Alright, boys. One Iron Branch or quarter of iron branch because only strength increase base strength from 18 to 19 okay cool snap duration decreased what so it lasts less longer but freeze duration increased from 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 seconds but the duration decreased okay that's fine that that is already a good amount of duration yeah that is fine uh let's see it's minimum three seconds on both sides but a little bit yeah, it's fine. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, Tornado. Travel distance increase. From early phase, it's increased, though. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy. Hold on. So, early level, you don't have a minuscule Tornado. From early level, you have a decent Tornado. Okay. Oh, holy. Hold on. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see the EMP, though. Agnum Shard Pulse increase. I exactly complain about this. It is so slow. It is so much worse than Gale Force. And it's a shard. It's a shard. It's the guy's shard, man. And it was so trash. 175 is almost a double of 100. So surely it's going to be better. All right, Chaos Meteor. I'm seeing a buff. Let's see. Contact damage increase from 52 to 185 to 55 to 220. Ah, that is not good enough. Burn damage per second increase from 10 to 38 to 10 to 45. Okay, together they makes it okay. -ish. I mean, we have to give it a try. All right, it's time to play Dota, I guess. All right, these are much better. Actually, these are much better than, than I thought. I thought it would be just some trash change again, or maybe no change at all for like a long period of time. But I'm glad that they change it now. Because literally, I was just thinking yesterday that... I don't know uh, if I should even boot up Dota. Or maybe it's the first time that I take, uh, you know, a break from Dota just because of the state of the game. Just like I felt before the patch, I felt after the patch, after looking what happened in Moker. So it was unfortunate. Even though I enjoyed the map changes mostly and I like that the map is bigger overall for most heroes. For Invoker, it's a little bit hard because, you know, the bigger the map is and if you're a spellcaster, it's a little bit more annoying for you because there's a lot more space for people to go and come from. But overall, it's uh, and also for Sunstrike as well, because there's just more places for people to go to. It's not obvious three lanes, but there's like one lane uh, on the each corner as well that is hidden in the jungle. So yeah, more jungle creeps as well. Overall, it's fine. They didn't change Alacrity or the other stuff. They didn't even need to be changed that much. Unless they have any, any creative idea. I don't think there was a need for changing on those things. I think they were okay. But these four spells. The four spells that they targeted are the spells that had issue with. Uh, that They were really weak. So the distance thing is very big and very nice from for early phases. I liked it a lot. The cold snap, I think it will be much better with the meteor. I mean, we have to check it in the game. Because this is the main combo, right? Cold snap, tornado, EMP, chaos, meteor. meteor. That's the, you know, one of the combos, the standard combos. And a little bit more damage and effectiveness of all of these, like pull increase and the meter uh, damage increase, the burn damage increase, the uh, distance increase in the early levels. Uh, it's 
it's all pretty good. It's all pretty good. I think together they make up a change that makes the hero playable. Maybe. Question mark. I have to play and let you know. I will let you know. BSM decreased by 3. Okay, for IO. Keep up the light. Damage decreased for the blinding light. Radius decreased. Cast range rescaled. And cooldown increased. I see. Legion Commander. Strength gain decreased. Bonus attack speed decreased. I mean, that was not necessary, man. But whatever. Health region also decreased. Life Stealer uh, felt kind of bad. Let's see if they buff him. Cooldown decrease for the rage. Not that significant, but it's okay, I guess. Gaul Frenzy movement slow increased. Just a little bit more. If you have Orb of Venom or Orb of Corrosion, it's better, I guess. In fast cooldown decreased. Oh, that's pretty good. In the early phases, you can be more active. That's nice. Or have ability to save yourself. Uh, Lena Dragon's uh, Slave damage increase. 85 to 310 to... Yeah, magic damage is the build for Lena, by the way. Now, uh, damage with the light strike array also increase. Okay. Damage increased from 130 to 150 and health increased. Oh, that's fine. That's good. Base intelligence increased, cooldown decreased for the Earth Spike, damage increased as well. Mana Drain, Agnum Shard, Magic Resistance increased from 50 to 80%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because no longer it's a pure BKB, and line usually never goes BKB. So, because line usually cannot afford, they rather go for Agnum and stuff like that. Anyways, Lone Druid, Lone Druid damage decreased. Okay, like an, damage should be decreased, and other nerfs should be implemented but i think there's only one nerf yeah minus four damage base damage decreased by eight what you gotta be kidding me that is absolute garbage but they increase the damage you gain from the stats a little bit so but it still does not ju justify nerfing her damage so much that is so bad because now no way you can play her carry minus eight is really annoying that is really annoying how your damage scales and how the crit deals crit all affected by 8 damage. 8 damage is no joke, by the way. I'm glad it's not 18, otherwise literally a dead hero. Still, somehow, maybe you can play her in some games. Spear of Mars, cooldown decrees. Agnum Shard damage per second increased, okay. Bonus damage per hero is increased, okay. Medusa, let's see. She was the meta hero. Let's see if the change has been implemented. Cooldown increased. Early game, a little bit more cooldown. That's fine. Mana shield now can be learned on level 1 instead of level 3. Damage per mana decreased. That's good. Bonus mana decreased. That's good. Good changes. Decent changes, I would say. Mirana, base damage decreased by 11. Base damage decreased by 11. What? What? That is trash. Naga Siren, Talon Mirror image decrease. Uh, the damage from the mirror image decrease from 13 to 10. Nature Profit, nerf him. Cooldown decrease. What? Max stack increase. Oh man, come on. Damage increase. Fine. Nyx Assassin, uh, need nerf. Base damage decrease by 6. Not significant at all because it's all magic. From 8 to 6% amplification. That's not good enough. Whatever. Oracle, Fortune's End, Cooldown increased. Okay. Fates, Edict, Mana Cost increased. Interesting. Pangolier, Base 70 decreased by 10. Wow. Dash, Range decreased. And Lucky Show, Chance increased. Okay. So, it's more of a utility than mid now. Kind of. Less effective at mid, I guess. Phantom Lancer, cooldown increase for the Spirit Lance. Okay, early game, you have cooldown increase. Okay. Phoenix, base time decrease. Okay, Primal Beast Intelligence gain increase. Uproar. He needs a buff. Roar, uh, bonus armor per stack increased. 1 to 4 to 2 to 5. Oh, that's good. Pulverize, hit damage increased from 100 to 200 to 1 to 5 to 2 to 5. And level 20, talent, upper armor per second increased from plus 4 to plus 6. Pretty good, pretty good. 
Very good, actually. Nice. Race agility can increase, base armor increase, bonus movement speed also increased. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Ricky needs a nerf. Base armor decreased by one. Aghanim shard armor reduction decreased from six to five. With armor reduction as well in the smoke screen. No wonder he was dealing so much damage. I did not read the change of Ricky last patch. Blink strike, base charge time, restore time also increased. Nice, that's good. SF needs a buff. Uh, shadow is damage increased from 110 to 150. It should be 130, but whatever. Uh, base damage decreased by 6. Okay, silencer, mana cost increased. Nice. Stark, septa distance decreased. Should be 900, but I think 900 would be too short because 4,200 gold item for two charges, and if the distance is even shorter, then that's pretty bad, I guess. Uh, needs a buff on sniper. I haven't re read it yet. Hold on. Snapfire, base uh, damage decreased. Snapfire, uh, Sniper, take aim, now provides plus 200. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, boy. That's pretty good. Because take aim would slow you down, and usually you just lose the enemy because they're just moving so fast. So you would literally be slowed, and the enemy would just move away. So having 200 range with the take aim, as because take aim would allow you to uh, have your second ability, which would slow the enemy. Again and again, proc. Because it increases the chance of 100%, right? For your second ability to proc. So you have 200 range as well. So it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. I wish it would scale though. 200 is pretty good in early phase. A little too good, I would say. But that's fine. It's pretty good to secure the range uh, creeps as well. Especially against some some heroes that are playing too aggressive like Queen of Pain. So you have plus 2 attack range every time you want to secure the range creep. Anyways, continue. Speed Breaker, a lot of changes. He needed a buff, I think. Or maybe a little bit of nerf. I'm not sure. Let's see. Strength gain increased from 3 to 3.3. Mana cost decreased. And can no longer target debuff immune enemies without Agnum Scepter. Oh, that's good. Debuff immune enemies without Agnum Scepter. That's pretty good. So you need Agnums. And if enemy has BKB, you just cannot charge them while the BKB is on. Interesting. Unless you have Agnims, but any enemy would have, uh, your opponents would have BKB before your Agnims, 100% of times. But not 100%, because some people are really greedy, never mind. Uh, Bulldoze, like me. Bulldoze status resistance increased from 35 to 65% to 40 to 70, that's pretty massive, actually. Uh, greater bash cooldown decrease. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, almost one second now. Movement speed has damage increased. That's nice. Pull down degrees. 30 seconds. Wow. That's pretty big. So now, every minute he's uh, on to you. Because all the levels from level uh, 6 to level 11, every, all levels are just so much closer to uh, every minute. So every minute he's going to charge you and have ultimate ready. Well, well, well. Temporary Assassin, base movement uh, speed increase, base damage increase for the meld, base damage decrease by 6 for Tichis, Terror Blades, Thunder can no longer target the immune enemies. Now, they're making BKB a little bit better by doing this, by the way. Just a little bit better, because BKB is really trash. I wish BKB would provide you other stuff too, like status resistance and something like that, I think. Status resistance on BKB could be pretty good, actually. No matter the amount, even 10% is fine. Something more than what it currently provides would be a great addition to BKB, I think. Uh, Timber saw base 7 degrees, Underlord, Fiendskid, Mana cost increase. Yeah, he needed some serious nerf to his passive, but let's see though. Uh, Firestorm radius decrease, uh, Firestorm cooldown reduction decrease. Man, they didn't touch the passive at all. Passive, those debuff auras are the annoying ones, man. Wenchful base damage decrease. I like the damage decrease of most heroes actually. Venomancer base damage decrease by 10. That is a lot. All right, he needs a nerf as well. Visage base damage also decreased by 3. Void Spirit base damage increased by 11. That is very good. That is good. I would say it's 16 even because he is a universal hero. He's going to build other stuff that would just increase his damage to an insane amount. Uh, Aether Remnant damage decrease. Resident Pulse, damage decrease. Wind Ranger, base damage decreased by 6. Winter Wyvern, base damage decreased by 1. What? 
that's irrelevant uh life seal from creeps increase from 50 to 60 percent yes that is uh in the in the line of all the life seal increase that's pretty good zeus arc line it needs a nerf definitely mana cost decreased damage increase of ultimate I'm glad they didn't touch the arc lightning. Well, they did over here. The mana cost then reduce it even further. Just a little bit less. Uh, talent bolt, uh, talent lightning bolt mini stun increased from 0.3 to 0.5. Half a second stun. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, talent arc lightning current health as damage increased from 4 to 6%. Wow. It's like 8% like back in the day, I think. I don't remember correctly. All right, that's it, guys, for the 7.33C patch. I'm going to be playing some Invoker. Let's see how that goes. And, yeah, happy gaming, guys. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. There's a link to Discord. Feel free to join. And I'll see you on my streams in future videos. Peace.